welcome to In the City with Crystal, a show that features some of the best music, arts, and entertainment in the DMV. I'm your host, Crystal Goodwin, and tonight we have a special guest, writer, actor, director, Emmy-nominated and Emmy Award-winning creator of web series Anacostia, Mr. Anthony Anderson. Your son wants to get a cat, but you're allergic. Do you A, prepare yourself, B, make the best of it, C squared equals 25. Good job! Or C, find a loophole. When it comes to parenting, there are no perfect answers, but that's okay, because you don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. Teens in foster care will love you just the same. Hi, and welcome back to In the City with Crystal. I'm your host, Crystal Goodwin, and tonight we have a special guest, writer, director, actor, Anthony Anderson of the Emmy Award winning web series, Anacostia. Uh, Anthony, you know I'm so excited to have you here oh, tonight. You. I loved your show, I love it. I got hooked first episode. Oh, thank you. First episode, uh, what? How long, what made you decide? You're a wonderful actor and writer. Have you had formal training? Watching and learning and studying and uh, fantasizing, because I was a big <laughs> fantasizer in elementary school. But um, I think it all sort of culminated into what I'm doing now. So yeah, so that was the formal training. Yeah, I mean, but the writing, no, no, it's, this is just all up here. <laughs> no, uh, I started writing uh, short stories when I was okay. in elementary school because when I was in mm -hmm. elementary school in D.C., I had a stutter. And because I stuttered, I was kind of apprehensive to talk to people. Mm -hmm. And so my, I guess my escapism was writing stories and reading them mm -hmm. to myself. And then uh, I met my best friend, Laura, so I, so, but then I started talking more. And then... Mm -hmm. um, it's just those short stories really stayed with me throughout okay. elementary school. And so I guess that was sort of a uh, practice for writing yeah. of what I'm doing now. So in elementary school, that was yeah. when you decided, this is what I want to do yeah. for the rest of my life. Absolutely. And well, you stuck with it. Mm, well, the real story is... <laughs> yeah, we want to hear my, the real one. <laughs> my, my initial goal was I was mm -hmm. going to be a dancer. So I was gonna okay. be a hip hop dancer. So that so that was the okay. so that was the end goal for me was gonna be a hip hop dancer. So that's the, what I want to do. The hip did, thing back then. Yeah, I did talent shows. <laughs> I did all the talent shows in elementary school. Um, okay. I, I went to Savoy Elementary School in Southeast DC. Um, so I um, did all the talent shows, singing mm -hmm. and dancing and stuff like that. And when I had the opportunity to go out there and actually audition when I was like late teens and stuff like that. I okay. got my opportunity to dance in a DMX video oh, uh, called Get It On The Floor, which went horribly wrong because I got injured <laughs> while I was there. But they sort of propped me up with a drink in the club. And so I still I still got to be in a video, but not dancing. Was it a real drink? <laughs> no, it was uh, iced tea. Oh, OK. Um, he had something else, though. But oh, OK. <laughs> that's a nice <laughs> If I'm yeah, not a show. Um, but um, and so from there, while I was recuperating, um, mm -hmm. my agent at the time sent me on some um, mm -hmm. acting auditions because she was like, hey, I got to make my money somehow. Yeah. And so she sent me uh, on some acting auditions and little and one after another, I started booking the acting okay. auditions and she was like, hey, we might have a thing here. Oh. And uh, it started out doing like independent films in D.C. Okay. So everything sort of culminated, like everything that I was watching in elementary school, looking at on television and writing, it all yeah. sort of kind of prepared me to for this. be ready for that. What made you decide to do a web series, a, a soap opera? Well, my initial um, foray into everything was actually so a independent film called The Ties That Bind. So prior to Anacostia, I wrote my own independent film. We shot it in DC. It went on the festival circuit and did, and did really well. And then I was putting the second movie together mm -hmm. and it just so happened I was watching, uh, I think Jalil White uh, from mm -hmm. Family Matters, mm -hmm. he had a web series out mm -hmm. at the time. And, um, and Ted, Ted Lane 
from mm -hmm. the Love Boat. Love Boat, right. He had like a country, he had Burton. like a Western, yeah. yeah, he had like a Western web series. I was like, oh, well, that's interesting. And when I was looking at the script for mm -hmm. what was then not even titled, I was like, these characters are very interesting. And mm -hmm. uh, I, I just thought that it would work well. Um, doing a film to me was a little more time consuming. And I just felt like, hey, if I broke it up into parts, mm -hmm. Um, it would be easier. And so I just mm -hmm. started breaking down that script and it turned into um, something that was serialized and episodic and it just turned into Anacostia. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you do all of the writing for Anacostia. You don't have any mm -hmm. writers, other writers or well, staff or who um, help you? This, la this latter season uh, towards, um, th there are some episodes in season four and season five that I that I collaborated with our special guest star Martha Byrne on. <laughs> But uh, oh. prior to that, um, all of the episodes um, have been written solely by solely by me. That's a lot. That's a lot of that's episodes. That's a lot it's of like work. We're at 44 episodes now, yeah. so that's a lot of episodes. And just I'm trying to, to see all of them. Yeah, just to be written by one person. Yeah. Yeah, that's a yeah. lot, man. And um, with all of the neighborhoods in Washington D.C. Mm -hmm. You could have very well went to uh, Brooklyn, mm -hmm. um, Upper Northwest, and but you chose Anacostia. Right. I spent about six years in Anacostia <laughs> too. I sure did. Right. <laughs> what made you choose Anacostia? Um, actually, two things. I was once I put everything together, and it mm -hmm. was in a scripted form, and I had mm -hmm. a cast, and I had no idea what I was going to call the show. I was actually on the Green Line. Mm -hmm. going to uh, Suitland and uh, the next and and I was just and it was in my head all these different names to call the show all the mm -hmm. titles because mm -hmm. it needed to be something that stood out to me yeah. and I was on the green line and the operator said next stop Anacostia and I just thought to myself hmm Anacostia it's an epiphany I'm, I'm from Anacostia uh, it's a lot of drama in this show, and there's a lot of drama in Anacostia. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, that would be a perfect name for it. And I just wrote it on a piece of paper and just looked at it, and I said, mm -hmm. um, it, you know what, it was actually, all right, so it was actually very... Um, very fun. No, actually, <laughs> it, it was kind of... Um, Who was the other apartments in there, too, um, off of Mississippi? It was some um, guy... I forgot what they called him anyway, because I know it's Berry Farm, then it's another little area near oh, Mississippi um, Avenue. Oh, um, uh, like Ambassador Square? Uh, I think. Or uh, Oxford Manor? Like, That's where I used to live in Oxford oh, really? Manor. Like, yeah, like, back like, in the like, early honestly, in the I 70s. thought the people that lived in Oxford, Oxford Manor were rich, because it was like a gated and everything else. And I was like, oh, the, they're, oh those people live over there. They're, they're rich. They had a, a nice pool. <laughs> See, y'all had a very clean pool in Oxford Manor. Our pool, you could walk on the, and get cut with glass on Oh, the, my God. Yeah, <laughs> it, it was bad. Mm -hmm. I just really enjoyed that name, and I thought it stood out. And actually, I used to play around and say, um, um, I, I used to imagine what it would sound like to say Emmy Award winning Anacostia. Anacostia. And it just rolled off my tongue easy. Had no idea that it would be it that would be one that. day. But um, I, I think that that's what they say, speak it into existence. Yes. Yeah, so yes. I, chose that, I chose that name. And I also wanted to put a different spin on Anacostia because for the people that are in the know that know about Anacostia, mm -hmm. when you normally mention that um, name, it brings up a lot of negative connotations yeah. and a lot of negative thoughts. Yeah. And being from Anacostia, I knew that that's not all yeah. Anacostia was. I mean, yes. like you said, it's some hardworking people it's there. Hard -working um, it's hardworking. It's hardworking families. To make it. mm -hmm. um, it's 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 a great community to. Mm -hmm. Well, at least when I was there, it was a great community to raise your kids because mm -hmm. everyone looked out for everyone else's kids. Yeah. And um, as opposed to today. But, yeah. So mm -hmm. I so I wanted to put a positive spin on it instead of having mm -hmm. it be something that was detrimental. Well, you definitely brought the spotlight to Washington D.C. That's Thank for you. sure because you could have very well went to filmed it somewhere else. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm packing up, I'm going to L.A., New York, or mm -hmm. somewhere like that, and filmed it from a neighborhood there. And But you chose to stay here mm -hmm. and do it for real, because yeah. I looked at a movie, that's not our subway. Right. That's not right. that street. But right. 
you're filming. Mm -hmm. Tell us where you have filmed in and out of what, like, we filmed. It's more than Anacostia, yeah. some different areas, because I recognize them streets. Yeah, we filmed <laughs> everywhere. We filmed mm -hmm. everywhere from uh, Anacostia on, on Good Hope Road, Martin Luther King Jr. Avenue. Mm -hmm. We filmed on Stanton Road. Mm -hmm. uh, we filmed big uh, chair, close, big uh, close chair. to Berry Farms. Yeah. We, we filmed uh, Alabama Avenue. Um, but then we've also done some stuff outside of Anacostia mm -hmm. to where we've been in Anacostia Park or we've been. Uh, there's been some scenes that were done in Montgomery County, right. uh, some scenes mm -hmm. that we've done in Columbia, in Clinton, and um, just still the DMV. Though. Just, just You're, still, yeah, still, just still the in the area because mm -hmm. my goal was for when people saw this show, I wanted them to sort of, outside of being entertained, I wanted them to also have a sense of pride. And when they looked at it, they they say, "Hey, I hey, I know that street, or hey, I know that business, or I've been there." Mm -hmm. And I, I think that that's a way to, um, I think that's a different way to. Um, get your audience attached mm -hmm. to your show and to get them to be like really um, invested in the it overall did. show. Um, but was there backlash um, with it from um, the, the surprising backlash was from our own people by saying that they were expecting it since it was called Anacostia, they were looking for the guns and the drugs and the violence and mm -hmm. everything else and mm -hmm. that's just not something that, I, that I've ever that's not mm -hmm. something I've ever been interested in portraying yeah. and I hate when I see that you shot right up anyway with it yeah. with positive images mm -hmm. of African Americans right I appreciate that too Thank you. and you're right it did work because when I see those streets and different things on on on, on, the, on the episodes and I'm like oh I know where that's at that's there that's there right. and it brings a sense of pride me being a Washingtonian all my life mm -hmm. I'm so proud of anybody Thank out you. of Washington if you make it I'm your number one cheerleader Thank and stuff so tell me how did you get veteran soap opera actors, stars, Martha Byrne and Elizabeth Hubbard. How did that happen? Where did you, those are like veterans yeah, those of the soap are, opera world. Uh, well, as like I said, I've been watching Martha Byrne and Elizabeth Hubbard for years on As the World's Turns. And um, it just so happened years ago in New York, there was an, mm -hmm. There was an award show called the Indie Soap Awards and, and mm -hmm. we had been nominated mm -hmm. and she was the host. And oh, okay. I met her and it's weird because it's, I just met her, but it seems like we automatically clicked. Like, I kid you, I, when I tell people, mm -hmm. like, about the trajectory of this show and about how mm -hmm. everything has been laid out, it's mm -hmm. sort of like God has sort of, like, laid certain things in front of me and said, okay. I don't want you to touch it. I just want you to walk in it. Yeah. And just, I've laid the path. You just walk. Walk into your future. And, yeah. And um, I met her. Mm -hmm. She was so incredibly... Uh, generous even from the first meeting and mm -hmm. she, and in passing at the award show she said hey mm -hmm. I would love to do a show one day and wow. um, of course being from DC you, you hear that all the time from people mm -hmm. like, hey, I, hey I want to help you so we both got booked to do a show in mm -hmm. Los Angeles mm -hmm. and uh, I ran into her again while we were both actors mm -hmm. on that show and she said hey I will hey I'm serious I really want to do your show and um, I sent her some sides mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um later that week and she read the sides she said hey i love it i want to do it let me know when you want me to come and she came and she's been here ever since and last year it must have year, been really surreal to you to it have was that happen. Her, her her first day filming i was sort of sitting back like how did this happen i was like, yeah oh, very, like, yeah very oh, very I much like that here. i was sort of like looking in the monitor like that's martha Byrne." That's that's that Martha Byrne. Byrne. That's Lily Walsh on the set of Anacostia. How did that happen? And last year, Martha and I were on the phone, and she said, "Hey, I want to run an idea past you. Mm -hmm. um, what do you think about um, mm -hmm. Elizabeth Hubbard coming on and doing something with Anacostia?" And I was like, <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. "Absolutely. I, I mean, really? <laughs> that's that is mm -hmm. legacy. There. I mm -hmm. mean, she is." the very first actress to ever win a Daytime Emmy Award for yeah. Outstanding Lead Actress. I mean, she is the yeah. first one, so a that's the prototype. Mm -hmm. And so when she came in, um, so 
we so Martha and I both collaborated on that mm -hmm. script for her mm -hmm. and and when it was time to go to Connecticut mm -hmm. so we took the crew to Connecticut and filmed mm -hmm. at her house and she was so generous and you just as an actor you learn from watching yes. other actors mm -hmm. and immediately when I got there she was outside blocking herself and just mm -hmm. walking through it mm -hmm. and it was just amazing to see her watch like this veteran actress yeah. saying the words that I helped create for her and being on this show yeah and 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 then for both of them to be nominated and for Martha to win her third Emmy Award for mm -hmm. this show yeah. was just amazing to me yeah. when I was six my days were spent playing basketball when I was six my dream was to make it to the NBA when I was six my mom had a stroke I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. Mr. Gray. Can you tell me what happened? Can you tell me what happened? Was in the. I was in the garage t talking on the phone. Do you remember who you were talking to? I was talking to uh, my lawyer. And then what happened? Um. I got another um phone call from Desiree. And then, <laughs> and then, and, and then he <laughs> you were attacked. Did, did you see the attack? No, he he was um he was wearing a mask. Did he say anything? No. Did you notice anything else about the attacker? No. Mr. Gray. Can you think of anyone who would want to do this to you, Mr. Gray? <laughs> Has anyone threatened to do harm to you? <laughs> Have you angered anyone recently? <laughs> anyone who Can we can we stop? <laughs> Welcome back. I hope I know you enjoyed that clip we just saw of the impressive acting of Anthony Anderson, writer, director, actor of creator of the web series Anacostia. Ooh. Took my breath away with that. <laughs> Every time I see an episode, it just takes my breath away. I crack up, I laugh, I cry, I do all kind of things. Thank you. I really do. And you know, I noticed you got a bunch of sponsors too, mm -hmm. which is wonderful. Yeah. Um, was it hard getting, you know, people to at the beginning to to sign on? Um, yes, it was very hard. It's it's, it's still very hard. It's, it's, yeah. it, it's still very, very difficult because uh, I think for the first couple of seasons, it was self-funded. Um, it was self-funded mm. through me, and that is something that um, all of this is a learning lesson. So mm -hmm. I tell people all the time, if you can use somebody else's money, mm -hmm. use somebody <laughs> else's money, um, because I've, I've used my money, and um, the, the one thing I've never... The, the one thing I've never been was a quitter. So mm -hmm. I have gotten, during this journey, my, my cast will tell you, I've gotten two cars repossessed. <laughs> you know. I've gotten, uh, uh, I've, I've gotten arrested because my tags were expired and I've missed interviews on the way to the interview. The police pulled me over, got arrested. Okay. But <laughs> it's been, 
-hmm. something but when I feel like when something is inside of you you um, you have got to get it out and no matter what it is I, I mean we've shot where we've had no money and mm -hmm. lunch was donuts from mm -hmm. CVS or 7-Eleven yeah. and orange drink um, and mm -hmm. it and it was a natural pro it was a natural yeah. progression but everyone that was there understood like hey we're in it for the goal and we know that there's going to be something mm -hmm. that came later so yeah. the sponsors um, Ben Bryant uh, mm -hmm. and, and and his company they came in recently and uh, they mm -hmm. infused us with some mm -hmm. cash and um, we can always still use more because mm -hmm. there are things mm -hmm. that we always want to do every time we go into mm -hmm. a season mm -hmm. there are the things that I want to do yeah and then there are the things looking at the budget that we can't do <laughs> so we meet okay. in the middle somewhere but mm -hmm. we always get this show done hell or how mm -hmm. hell or high water no matter what mm -hmm. And so your, your cast, yeah. they, now I heard they, they weren't, you know, they were just hanging in there with you mm -hmm. through it all. Eight and years. they just saw the big picture. That's wonderful. Eight years. To have the loyalty. And, and you guys, when you're on set, it's your great friends. I love the friendship between mm -hmm. you and the girls. I love it. And it's so natural. Mm -hmm. So are you guys, you hang out afterwards? Because it seems like you, it is way too real for it to be. Yeah. I know it's acting, but mm -hmm. that is real, in, like closeness to each yeah. other and love for each other. So I think what it is, it's a true family environment. And I think mm -hmm. I've chosen incredible people to share in a vision. And I think it started with mm -hmm. everyone being able to share the vision together with and them. see the end goal and yeah. everyone taking pride in the work that they, they were doing. Do. I mean, even if they're not on set that day, they'll read a script and say, hey, I want to come and support mm -hmm. you during this uh, even when they weren't great working? scene. Oh, that's wonderful. I, I want to come and support you because I know it's going to be hard for you or, yeah. I, or I think the scene is going to be funny, so I want to come and see how you guys mm -hmm. um, act it out. And okay. they each learn from each other. Mm -hmm. And it is very much a family mm -hmm. atmosphere. Mm -hmm. And because it is a family atmosphere, sometimes you get on each, sometimes it's a long day and and you just say at the end of it, God, I cannot wait to get away from you guys. Um, <laughs> and, and, and then we take a break. We take a right. hiatus for a couple of months. Back. And everyone is chopping okay. at the bit. Like, when are we okay. coming back on set? I miss okay. my family. I miss my family. Right. So it is very much of okay. a family. But, it, out, but right. after eight years, yeah. You, yeah, you have to be a family. You guys are close. Okay, we're going to cut to a PSA, but we're going to come back. And, and talk to Anthony, see some more clips of the show, and we'll be right back. Sir, can I help you? I'm, uh, I'm here for a, a and HIV test. Okay, take this form, wait for your number, someone will be right with you. Stop stressing, you're gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if? You're gonna be fine. Five, four, one, one. You want me to go with you? No, I'm good. Problem? Five, four, one, two. Stop stressing, you're gonna be fine. Yeah, but what if? You're gonna be fine. Are you homosexual? Are you homosexual? Do you have sex with men? Can you answer the question, please? Problem? The area where you were attacked is known for gay prostitution. Stop stressing, you're gonna be fine. Problem? Yeah, but what if? You're gonna Are be you fine. homosexual? Stop stressing. Are you homosexual? Do you have sex with men? You're gonna be fine. The area where you were attacked Stop stressing, you're gonna be is known fine. for gay prostitution. 
Welcome back. And that was a powerful, powerful scene. Yeah. And you were nominated for an Emmy for that. Yeah. Can you tell us about tell us about that scene? Uh, yeah, that scene is the aftermath of my character Sean was the victim of a sexual assault um, last season, and that was the aftermath of him being questioned by the police. And that um, whole day was just a incredible. Like I've never been as an actor. I've never been in that place in that before. Place. And so to turn out to get, um, and I think I wanted to do that storyline because when you think about um, mm -hmm. um, victims of sexual assault, you naturally think of females. Mm -hmm. And the fact of the matter is there are a lot of, there, there's a high percentage of male sexual assault victims. And the mm -hmm. reason why you don't hear about them is because they never come forward mm -hmm. to speak on it because mm -hmm. there's a stigma. And I wanted to break that stigma. Mm -hmm. There's an extra stigma when the character happens to be gay. Mm -hmm. um, there's a stigma that that person was doing something or there was some place where they didn't need to be or they mm -hmm. sort of brought it upon themselves. So we wanted to touch upon that. Mm -hmm. um, to receive the Emmy nomination for Outstanding Lead Actor in a digital drama series for that performance was, I was flabbergasted. Um, it opened many doors because I was the first African American to be nominated mm -hmm. in that category. Mm -hmm. um, so. The whole experience was, it was my second nomination overall, yeah. uh, the show's fourth nomination. And mm -hmm. um, I got to present, which mm -hmm. was even a greater honor because they just don't ask anyone to present. I mean, they that sure means know. that your your industry, your peers are actually want you to represent the Academy yeah. that yeah. particular yeah. night. Yeah. Um, so it was an incredible, incredible opportunity. Time. And um, I will never forget it as long as I live. You're just so humble. Thank you. You're just, well, I'm like one of your biggest fans and you. stuff. So we look to see great things in the future. I know you got some stuff going yes. on. He is about to do some major things and we uh, thank you for coming. Thank you for having and me. And we love you so thank much. You. Check for him and everything is about to happen. Thank you and join us for another episode. Thank our guest Anthony Anderson and good night. Thanks for joining us for another episode of In the City with Crystal. We want to thank our special guest, writer, creator, actor of the Emmy Award winning web series, Anna Koster, Mr. Anthony Anderson. Good night, love, peace, and smooches.